all right? Staying on what I'm calling Hillary's free pass. Leslie Marshall is with us, Fox News contributor, <laughs> a well-known way left of center Democrat. Ain't that right there, Leslie? Oh, I went from just slightly left of center to way. You guys are witnesses. You're my witnesses. Yeah. Well, on the left-hand side of your screen during this interview, you're going to be seeing some of the issues in which we believe Hillary Clinton got a free pass. They're going to be scrolling up. Uh, basket of deplorables, for example. I can't read it fast enough, but we'll keep on rolling it, okay? <laughs> she got a free pass, Leslie. You yep. know, she did. She got a free pass. And in many respects, it's Trump's fault. Why didn't he raise the immigration issue? Yeah. Why didn't somebody raise the Benghazi issue? She got a free pass. I don't agree with you there, and the reason is I for knew. what you just said. I knew Don that. Donald Trump <laughs> had an opportunity with emails. I think he got blindsided when she said, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to make any excuses for that. I was wrong. It, well, it was bad. Wouldn't do it again. One, two, there were three categories they had to stay within. Those are what the questions were posed within those categories. And I will go to Vegas with money and bet that all of those issues that are scrolling will be brought up by people in the town hall, Donald Trump, and moderators. We have two more debates to go. Yeah, that's a fair point. I think that will happen. And the town hall format next time around, yeah, Sunday, yeah. October the 9th, very different. Very. Yes. Very different because although you can control the crowd to some degree they're going to ask the questions that they want to ask and that's the way it's going to be yes you think that Hillary won last night hands down can I say hands this? down yes hands down let me tell you why uh, not just why you know years ago in the first debate between Barack Obama and Mitt Romney and I am a Democrat who supported Barack Obama and I you know easily went on television on this network and said he lost. I mean, Mitt Romney, I felt strongly won that first debate. It changed in the yeah, second. Sure. And I really feel that Hillary Clinton won that debate last night. Uh, she didn't interrupt. Um, I wanted a dollar for every time Donald said I. Uh, she didn't mention endorsements, which don't well, make a difference. And I, I felt she was very presidential. We, we had um, Lee Carter on the program. Now, she runs focus groups, and they run the tape of the debate, or they run the debate live in front of photo focus groups. They break them up into Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, and they track their reaction to what they're seeing on the screen. The reaction of Independents was really interesting. Most of the time, they tracked with Trump. They said that they believed, the independents believed, they were with Trump, they liked what he had to say. I think that's very interesting. Yeah, but you have to remember, we have 11% right now, at least so say the polls, and you know those change daily, that say they don't know who they're going to vote for. And I don't always believe those people. I think most people barely know. Then, if you look historically, when people go for independence, and I know people may say, well, look at Ralph Nader, but look at the numbers. When people go for independence, on November 8th, there are going to be people that support Gary Johnson and Jill Stein at this very moment that are going to say... I can't bet for a horse that has no chance of winning this race. I think and they're going to go Democrat. I think there's a, a, a fair number of people, I'm not going to put a number on it, yeah. who don't want to admit publicly that they support Donald Trump. There's a lot of Trump shaming going on in America at the moment. So I think that Trump's standing in the polls is depressed by maybe two or three points because of the shaming of voters who don't want to say, I'm a Trump person. But to that point, though, let's look at the polls. Barack Obama was only up by, what, 0.7. I mean, not even a full point against Mitt Romney. And it, to me, I just keep looking at that map. I keep looking at the electorals. And that's why I really feel that she will win on November 8th, regardless of the predictors, regardless of the polls, and, and even focus groups. Debates are not going to swing a lot of votes in either of those directions. I don't think many votes were swung last night. No, I may be so. completely yeah. wrong about yeah. that, but the way I looked at it, no, I don't think so. I spent yeah. my time shouting at the screen. Did you? No, you would because you thought oh no I did because I said the one thing one of the things that bothered me if you're gonna say free pass I yeah. thought Donald got a free pass on how come nobody said then how come some Trump products are made in China and Mexico when he said one of the biggest problems with our economy is we've got to stop this outsourcing yeah. I'm like well, Lester, I'm back. tweeting I'm yelling at the screen uh, Hillary <laughs> Hillary say how come this how come it says HO in Mexico on this app and Liz <laughs> McDonald is laughing at me because she can just see me shouting at the TV set all night long you, that's what you're you laughing throw at things in your office did you throw anything like Last night? You wanted to, I bet. Uh, it's a private matter. No comment. <laughs> a it's private a private matter. matter. <laughs> Leslie, you're totally wrong, but you're all right. Thanks for joining <laughs> Thank us. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs>